Hello, this is um, OZ9 Alpha Alpha Radio, Carsten, um, with a small video demonstrating a new PC application I've made uh, called Skyscanner. Uh, Skyscanner is uh, basically a tool that will uh, map the surroundings of your EME antenna, EME array um, for, s for noise and show you the, the various noise uh, levels um, on, on, on the dome so that it's easier to visualize uh, where, the, where the noise sources are in, in your surroundings. I have, um, as I guess most of us have, uh, some problems with, uh, with local noise, RF noise. Um, I have put up a new 70cm uh, EME array uh, with four antennas and I have some areas where I have uh, I have some noise sources. Uh, the worst ones are actually from my own house, so I can probably do something about that. But there are also some in the neighborhood, from neighboring houses, um, inverters, uh, solar panels, uh, stuff like that. Um, and it's it's always nice um, to be able to visualize um, stuff like that. Uh, in a more uh, in a more sensible way, so that was why I I thought about uh, doing Skyscanner. Um, it's it's an application that uh, basically uh, takes uh, the audio from your transceiver. In my case, it's uh, ICOM IC nine seven hundred on seventy centimeters, and it um, it measures uh, the noise level the amplitude, uh, the noise uh, coming in from, from the radio and it can control um, an azimuth elevation uh, rotor uh, that controls your antenna. It will then um, it will command the, the antenna uh, around uh, in, in this uh, dome and, and do measurements in each of the zones uh, you specify. Um, the zones can be um, defined, uh, the size of those can be defined in degrees. Uh, typically I use uh, 6 degrees, so this means that each of the zones are 6 degrees uh, wide and 6 degrees high. And when measuring a zone, the antenna are commanded uh, in the center of the zone. Um, so this is, um, yeah, this is just um, just the way I I choose to do it. Um, the program has uh, a few settings. Um, you specify your latitude, longitude. Um, you can also specify that you don't want to measure zones that are within a certain distance of the sun. Um, in my case, I have specified 10 degrees. If you if you select uh, a lot of zones that need to be scanned and the sun moves uh, into those uh, zones, it, it does not make much sense to measure the noise, as uh, as the sun is is noisy and you would get some false readings there. So, if you have specified areas that need to be uh, scanned, um, if it detects that uh, the sun is within this number of degrees from the measurement zone, it will just skip those zones and, and not measure them. It interfaces to a rotor. Uh, right now it supports uh, my own rotor controller URC, which is also shown on my website. And then it can control a Yaesu GS232 via serial port. Um, I will probably make uh, an interface so that it is possible to add uh, extra controllers um, so you can control other rotors uh, as well, but for now this is uh, this is the the, the supported ones. Um, you select the uh, the audio input. In my case, as I said, the IC nine seven hundred. The left panel here shows uh, the measured noise level. It shows uh, the current antenna position. Uh, in the background here, you see. Um, that's my that's my array the four uh, seventy centimeter uh, Yagis four twenty three elements uh, Yagis. Um, yeah, I apologize for the the video quality. Uh, I had to lower that quite a bit. Uh, the PC this is running on is is not the quickest one, 
and in order to have uh, at least some you know fluent reaction um i had to um i had to lower the resolution and and so on but uh, yeah i hope you can uh, you still can see what what's going on yeah um the current antenna position is shown here 165 9 degrees elevation you can see the current moon position and the current sun position for my observer location is also shown and you can see here that it's 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 a bad eme day today you can uh, open and create uh, databases uh, the database is is uh, an open design so you can import the data and visualize them in whatever other way you you might you know find suitable um it's not uh, it's not locked to the sky scanner program you you can use the data for whatever you want when creating a database you specify the zone resolution as i said uh, 6 degrees normally i i run the 6 degrees um if you open a database that has already been created, it will show the resolution it was created with and, and continue with that number. It will also tell you how many zones has been uh, measured in the database uh, you just opened or created. Um, when you scan uh, and the antenna moves to a new zone it, it needs to, to measure, uh, when it has reached its uh, destination it will wait a number of seconds before it takes the noise measurement so in this case i will wait uh, three seconds uh, after the the motors has stopped it will wait three seconds and then it will measure the noise it will show you how many zones uh, of the ones you have specified we'll get back to that later how many of the zones you have specified that are still missing uh, to be that 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 have not yet been measured, you can start the scan. You can stop the scan. You will uh, also in in a moment see uh, the zones will be color graduated depending on the measured noise level. Uh, you can also let the program uh, track uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, and Moon. Um, if you need to do testing, sun measurement, and so on. I, I added that as, a, as an extra feature here. Um, in the main window here, you have, um, you have the audio uh, from the radio. And on the top, you have, uh, you have the dome, uh, which is you know, pretty much what it's all about. You have to, um, yeah, you, 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 can, you can navigate that one uh, in 3D and, and Believe me, if if uh, done on a on a quick PC, it's uh, it's completely fluent. So uh, <laughs> th this is not the way it looks normally. Um, you have to imagine that uh, you stand on top above your antenna and look and looking down on it. Um, this is this is basically what you see here. Uh, right now, the antenna are pointed to 165 and 9 degrees elevation. This is actually the blinking uh, green zone here. This is the current antenna position. And um, if we move a bit around here, you will see a gray and an orange. The gray one is the current moon position and the orange is the current sun position. They are just shown there. Later on, when you have uh, mapped uh, the whole sky or, or the areas of interest, if you have the program running, it will show you the current antenna position and the current moon position. So you have an immediately, you know, immediate visual uh, input of where the moon is compared to the to the noise uh, levels you have measured. Um, and yeah, that that's basically it. Um, the program scans the sky, measures uh, the noise, and maps it uh, on this uh, graphical uh, dome here, so you can you can better visualize it. Um, to get this started, uh, you simply um, you simply select a number of uh, of zones you want to measure. Uh, you keep the the alternate uh, button pressed down, and you just click on the zones you want to measure. Um, I will probably add some features to the program so that you, by using uh, parameters, can tell it to to map maybe everything from from 90 to 180 degrees azimuth 
from zero to 45 degrees elevation or something like that. But but for now, you need to click on, on the zones that you actually want to measure. Um, it takes a bit of time, but yeah, compared to the time it takes to scan, it's, it's not that bad, I think. Um, at least that, that's how it is for now, and, and that might change. But um, anyways, so I have now um, selected um, a number of, uh, of zones, and um, I can press uh, scan. I will get a warning. Uh, I've selected 60 zones on the map. Do you want to measure those and add modify them to into the database? Um, if I had opened a database that was already uh, containing measurements, these uh, new zones would just be added to the database. Uh, if some of the zones already had been measured, the new data will just override the old one, so you can you can remeasure areas uh, of interest. In this case, I'll just say OK, and um, the antenna will now uh, move uh, to the first uh, position. Uh, you can see here 111 elevation, three degrees. This is this uh, this zone here. The the um, the sequence is that it will scan uh, zones in. Um, in increasing azimuth numbers and then it would go up to the next elevation and take that one and the next one and the next one. Um, I chose to, to scan in azimuth first before I, I, I changed the elevation. Um, I have an idea that, that usually the azimuth is less uh, stressed on our systems than the elevation. Uh, I might be wrong but this is how I, I selected to do it anyway. Um, and now it, it just uh, moves, you can see on, on the video behind, it just moves, waits for three seconds, takes a measurement, and getting the next zone, it will move to the next, steps uh, six uh, degrees, um, takes a measurement, and while it takes the measurement, you can see that the colors uh, of the zones will constantly change. That is because that every time I take a new measurement, I will calculate what is the minimum noise and the maximum noise of all the fields or all the zones that have been measured until now. And then I will graduate uh, or, or, or put the, the correct color on, 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 the, on the zones. Uh, so you will see one area maybe that was uh, red initially, that one can actually turn blue colder because the antenna is now getting into a more noisy environment. So they, they will all they will dynamically change. And you can see that then when I move um, into the center of some of those, you get some uh, you get some data. You get the, the 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 measurement time. Let me refresh it. You can see the antenna position, the noise measured and where the sun was at the time the measurement was taken. So you see minus 31 dB here, and if you go to this one, minus 33 dB. So it's colder regarding uh, with the noise to, to do. Yeah. Um, so, and, and this is as you can see, this takes time uh, because the rotor needs to move. It needs to to be, you know, sitting still for three seconds before it takes a measurement and so on. And and here you can see we have uh, 51 zones left to measure. Um, you can see when it it takes uh, the next one. Let's see that. It came there. Yeah, it did that. So now it will move to the next you see it, it's uh, going up in elevation so now it will uh, it will position the antenna in this zone and uh, and do a measurement uh, we can just uh, yeah we can just let it run it doesn't take that long um, and once it it um, it hits that zone yeah it always takes longer when you uh, when you wait. That's the way it is. Um, yep, yeah. it will wait three seconds. In, in in real 
life, I think the three seconds I could even easily lower that to maybe one second because the noise is, is stable pretty quick. I might change the algorithm for the noise measurement, uh, the, the averaging and so on, but yeah, this is the way it runs right now. Yeah, and it, it does the next zone and the next and the next and the next. S and, and yeah, this will take some time, as I said, so I will, uh, I will pause the recording and then I will get back uh, once we got some, uh, some more data. So uh, be back in a second. So uh, back again, and as you can see on the screen now, <coughs> sorry, um, the the selected zones, the black ones, are almost uh, done. There are only two left uh, to go. Um, yeah, you can see the antennas up here are moving uh, towards the last uh, position and uh, doing the measurement. And uh, when you look at uh, at the dome, it, it becomes pretty clear where where the problem is. Um, it's at low elevations. Uh, I already knew that uh, because it's, as I said, in the direction of my house. Um, but you see uh, a visual representation of um, of the noise, and you can see here that uh, the scale goes from uh, minus uh, forty-seven point eight to minus thirty-one point one, from blue to to red. So that's quite a difference, uh, 16, more than 16 dBs in, in, uh, in difference. And um, I guess you can also imagine that, that once you have, um, once you have uh, the system running and, and you have the moon position, if the moon is, is getting into an area where you have uh, the red uh, squares, you know that, that this can be a problem, that you have more noise there than it could also be uh, an area to the west. I have a. I have some high trees. Uh, you can see it on the video here. Over there are some some tall trees, uh, which also adds to the noise. Um, those will also be visible on on the map here. Um, but basically, the the scanning is now done. Um, it has measured uh, 60 zones, as we told it, and those are now saved um, saved in the database. Now I could. Um, I could select um, I could select some uh, some more zones if I wanted to, um, and add those to the database, um, so that eventually that everything that I that I am interested in uh, would be would be measured and and mapped uh, on on the display here. Um, but I will I will yeah I'll, I'll I will stop that. Uh, now and, and, and you, you get the idea um, and as I said if I want tomorrow to measure another place uh, another area I just uh, again uh, select um, uh, the zones I want to to measure and by hovering the mouse on top of the the zones you get uh, you get the data uh, minus 47.3 uh, DB and if you go down here where it was really hot minus 31.3 db so you get uh, you get the raw numbers and you also get a visual representation and as i said the database uh, can be used uh, in other applications and you can visualize the data in in what other you know what other method you you might uh, think would be would be nice um once i release uh, the program um it will be on uh, available on my on my website uh, www.moonbounce.dk. There is a lot of um, a lot of other th uh, stuff in here. Um, things I have uh, made public. Uh, things you can build yourself. Uh, some of those I I also offer a sample. But um, Skyscanner has its own um, its own uh, web page uh, in here, which is not. Uh, completely updated it, it, it there will be added some more info to it and you can also at, s at some point you will be able to download um, to download the the application um, that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, I hope you found it at least a bit interesting and um, catch you later uh, bye for now <coughs>